So, here's the problem. Don't judge Judy. Both you, the plaintiff, and the defence are trying to sue me through the TV because you're getting a 1500 megaton nuke set off in your face for a second time in our second pass on the first five ton that you don't remember. And you're trying to sue the US government as a state defence to try and get rid of this with someone called Eric Jelly Kelly, the only ID card I even know from other places. Could even be my plan. <laughs> for doing this to try and turn it off where like in the US trade you probably all just go to planet America the planet version not just the country you know with how much room we've got more space than they ever originally gave you to exist in but like in the real stuff <laughs> like we all lose the day even us in this one but that's fine I'm going to undo you James Marry my wife. It's somehow the car and all of it. And I've got the diesel mechanic one here too at my house. <laughs> and the, of an engine you've never produced in your mer person or people underwater. Has something you do to hydraulics, an extra plate or two you put around the actual device. Produce enough hydrogen and oxygen to not only flood the entire engine with the oxygen to switch on the a couple of moments after you hit the ignition. It gives you enough hydrogen to have a, like a turbo all the time in the diesel, which is the Neil diesel. You haven't even finished. But you're Judge Judy trying to sue the plaintiff and the defense because this alien that's doing this with them crawled in from the outback and is Australian. That you can't even print on the atlas like the first map. Here, I'll show you. Or oh, you just didn't see him. It says Australian. A U S T R I L E N. The first map didn't actually get back to the London anyway, which there was a third boat that went by that it came down by then. In the water, you've got to go, you know, in sailing in those days. So I don't know. I don't know how you're going to sue the Australian government that an alien that crawled out from the outback, you know, 